Hey guys, Cheesy's back. Uh, for part 17, this is actually going to be uh, post commentated because uh, I messed up on my setup so I didn't get any commentary or audio recorded at all. But anyway, uh, last time we raised the Nautilus and we arrived here in Tomorrow City Lagoon. So, first off, when we got to the area, just exploring about a bit basically I know there's a area out here in the thinner pool uh, which you can just about see in the distance if the camera pans up there you go you can just about see it in the distance um, we're actually heading over there prematurely there is something over there but it's not until a lot later so yeah, this area is really irritating. The enemies here are probably some of the most annoying in in the game. Certainly up to this point, the enemies are the most annoying ones we've come across. And we'll see when we get round to the other side, there's a beetle works, it's a sort of mechanical spider. And it has a shell, an armoured shell. So you have to thin that out, and then once you've thinned it out, it will flip itself over, and then you've got to hit it, and then it will get up, run away, and you'll have to do it again. So you've got to do two rounds of that, but once they spot you, they start spinning wildly and coming towards you. They're really, really quite irritating. We'll see one in a minute, I think, if I drop down here. There it is. You can just about see it. turn around you'll definitely see it. Yeah, Gus has told us that we're looking to spin four gears to turn these valves off. There's a lot more than four. Um, there's one for each thinner stream. So it's four of about six I think. So there's there's plenty of room for error. You don't have to be perfect in looking around for them. There's more than enough, but yeah, this is this is the enemy, this sort of mechanical spider thing. And you flip it over and then attack it, and then it will run away, recover its shell, and then start all over again. They're not too terrible if you can get the camera right, and you get a good stream of thinner going at them, and you can just sort of pummel them, but if they get you in a tight corner, or if they catch you when you're quite close to them and doesn't really give you time to get away, turn around and start thinning them. So they can be irritating. Uh, we've got one gear and there's another one right here. So that's two out of four already. But I mean as you can see it's not gonna doing four isn't gonna get rid of everything, so We just head across because we know there's another gear in this sort of area. There's also another enemy over here as well. Which is just there. As you can see, I, having known it was there, I could get a good position and get a good stream of thinner going. This time, not so much because it went and hid behind the block. But I find that's the best way to do it: is if you can keep firing thinner, so you get the sort of constant stream and then sort of back away slowly you can just about get away and keep hitting them but anyway that's a third gear on the floor there so yeah the gears aren't always going to be on the walls they could be on the floor I think I actually miss one in this sort of area as well there might be one just up on the wall somewhere nearer the uh, on the other wall but as I say, it's not important. There's there's more than four, so and we want to head up to the next level because there's definitely some stuff we want to do up there. So this fell down from doing the gear on the far left, so you definitely want to do that one, and it leaves this big mark, which lets us get up to the third floor as well. So that's definitely definitely the gear you want to be doing. Now this floor there's not 
an awful lot that's going to be terribly useful. Sort of everything on this floor will be made redundant by what's on the top floor. But we're here for right now, so we head across. More of these enemies, those are the easy enemies, you don't even really have to do anything with those, just keep firing paint. And as you can see there's there is really nothing over here. But we can see a gremlin off in the distance. We thin out that and we get the last gear. So we've shut down the valves now, so we've done enough to move on to the next area however now you can see thinner is coming out of these valves so really if I'd known that was going to happen I wouldn't have hit that last gear because as we're going to see in a minute that's going to cause me a few issues so we head up to this floor and after the painted in sections, the floors fall away. So you've got to be quick to get through there. And this is what I mean about causing me a problem because, yeah, now that that valve is spewing out thinner, that platform doesn't really stay there for very long. So we can't, we can't walk across it like we would normally, which does pose quite the problem because the area just after, as I just said, is one of those areas where the floor falls away. So I don't really want to be jumping onto that. More in hope than expectation that this will actually work, but there you go. I think we get it this time, so... We head across. I think we just, in the end, we just decide to make a jump for it. You just have to well time your jump on the other side very well. Like as soon as you land, you need to be jumping again to something like that to stop yourself falling through. But now we're over. This is the easy part. So hop across the platforms and free the gremlin. Thanks for setting me free, and he shuts off all of the thinner. So, as I said, everything we did on floor 2 was completely redundant, and in fact just made it a lot harder to get the gremlin. I might as well have not bothered with that gear. And we definitely did want to get that gremlin, because whilst you might think all that's done is open the door and that was already available to us, it has also opened up this area where we can free another gremlin and this is where the UFO comes into play so he offers us a challenge, a gladiatorial challenge on the UFO so we head back out there face the challenge It's obviously going to be a, as the title of gladiatorial challenge would in imply, it's it's going to be a, a fighting challenge. There's just going to be some enemies, and we've just got to defeat them all. So, what makes this really easy is that you don't have to actually really fight any of them properly. You can just knock them over the edge. It's as easy as that. As you see, I'm not even bothering trying to completely paint or thinner them. Just knock them into the thinner and it's job done really really straightforward and now I see what happens there you try to be clever and then you end up thinning the person you've already made good but anyway you get one set of enemies really is straightforward 
and we get a chest for it. So, well worth doing for how easy it is. And now that we've done that, we can move on. We've already opened the path, so we follow it around like we did before. And we can get out of this area. I think we've actually got another incredibly annoying enemy coming up. Oh, that, that would have been pretty nice if I'd got on there. I don't know why I even attempted it, but it would have been it would have looked pretty good. Great big tomorrow exhibit. Yeah, Mr. Over coming up. So yeah, we've got another another new enemy coming up. Which I'll be showing the easy way to do. And again, these things, they can be pretty irritating. Because your only way to attack him is if he tries to inhale you, and you fire paint or thinner into his mouth. If he decides to just walk around for a while and not do that, you could be here for quite a while. It's not particularly difficult to avoid, but thankfully for me he did it straight away. And yeah, I used a guardian spirit, as you can see. That is the best way to do this. Use your guardian spirits on these guys. They take an eternity otherwise. So I think two guardian spirits and this guy will actually go down. So there you go. That's the end of that. I wouldn't even bother trying to take them out normally, just do that. So now we've got this moving again. Ugh, once this guy stops talking. We've got the introduction of something else new, so yeah, so if this was a good one to lose the audio on, one where lots of new stuff gets introduced. But anyway, TV sketches, so yeah, you can put them down in front of blocklings and they'll sit there and happily watch cartoons. You can use it to jump off as a platform, or you can use it to, to power something. It's going to be obvious where you can do it because there'll be a big plate like the one Mickey's standing on with a picture of a TV on it. So, yeah, it's quite obvious what what you're supposed to do here. But firstly, come over here, open the chest, and get an animatronic part. Goofy's torso. There is another part in this carousel that I have no idea how you're supposed to get it. So, for those of you that know how to get the, the other part that we'll be seeing in about a minute, please do tell me if possible. So we come over to Mr. Rover, we go to Tomorrow Square. And that is the chest that I have no idea how to get. So, yeah. If anyone knows, Please let me know. That because yeah, I 
I try everything. So yeah, just just let me know if you if anyone knows a way to do that. That would be nice. But anyway, we move on. Not that important. And there's a projector screen. So we go on to Tomorrow Square now. Another nice little projector screen. All the projectors screens are, are pretty nice to be honest. I don't don't really mention much about them, but they are they are good, they're enjoyable little it's more interesting way to get between sections than just normally going from section to section. It's add something a bit extra. But we got our movie reel, it's a nice easy one to get. So yeah, this is the other half of the Plutopia one. More sausages, get ourselves a few e-tickets, and that's the end of that. We head off to Tomorrow Square which is an area that will cause more irritation than any other area we've seen so far I think so you guys can look forward to that one once this is finished we end the episode off so hopefully you guys will join me next time for more Disney's Epic Mickey sorry that this had to be post commentated instead of being done normally like all the others but these things happen so yeah, hopefully you'll join us then. See ya.